Voice and audio powered experiences have completely taken over CES. But it's not just here in Vegas. In fact, across the globe, there is currently 630,000 podcasts. That's a lot of podcasts. And normally, I personally get my recommendations from a friend or maybe from a lifestyle blog. But to know that there's that much content out there provides an interesting challenge for marketers. As we explore this new space of audio and developing our own content for our brands, we're going to be faced with a huge challenge of how we're going to get consumers to find this content, especially in a space without a screen. One of the things I'm most excited about here at CES is the continued rise of voice. And it's not just that voice is being incorporated into every product you can imagine, which is exciting. It's that the voice technology itself is getting better and better. Uh, Google announced today that its assistant will be able to handle 27 different languages and that they're building assistant into their Maps product. And so combining voice with the rich data we, they have from Maps will deliver a really truly relevant experience. So for marketers, it means now more than ever, it's time to jump into voice. One of the things we're most excited about at CES, autonomous vehicles, driverless cars. In the future, it will no longer be about getting from point A to point B. And brands like Panasonic and Kia are already thinking about this. At CES, they announced new vehicles that have facial recognition and AI technology built in that are able to provide consumers with a unique experience. In that, in that data that they get, they're able to provide new fragrances or sounds or lighting that appeals to those emotions. What does this mean for marketers? It means a new opportunity and new data points. In the future, we'll be able to target consumers based on their emotions.